You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettes out there in Gwinnett Land and all of my friends around the world. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, 69 degrees, going up to a high of 83, so that's beautiful. <clears throat> it's hump day Wednesday, baby. You have made it to the middle. Listen, I got some, <clears throat> my voice sounds a little scratchy today. I have some exciting news to share with you guys today. Um, today is my 1,000th episode of the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. <sighs> Man, I'm so proud of myself, you know, because... um. And I'll talk about this a later. Anyway, I'm so proud of myself because it takes a lot to get up every day and do something over and over again when you don't get paid like a job, right? It's a passion. It's a heartstring kind of thing. But you know what you're building. You know one day it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn into something amazing. It's going to be this multi maybe billion dollar empire. And that's what I know about Good Morning Gwinnett. And I'm so excited. So I'm going to share my story after I do the horoscopes because I want you guys to understand why I do this show every day. Um, why have why have I done it to the point where right now I'm recording episode number one thousand. Yeah, one thousand, like one zero zero one thousand. <clears throat> I want you to understand why. Because a lot of a lot of people don't understand podcasting. And for me, it is it is a business, but it's a business that I actually love. And um, I want to share my story of how I got started, why I got started. For those of you who don't know how I got started, why I got started, and why, uh, what am I building, and why do I continue to do this every day. So stick around. It's going to be right after the horoscopes. I promise you I won't be too long with the horoscopes today because I want to I wanna talk about my journey. I want to talk about my journey. I want to talk about my future, the future of the show, where I see it going, things that I have planned, and I'm excited about that. 1,000 episodes, y'all. Listen, let me give myself a round of applause for 1,000 episodes. 1,000 episodes. There you have it. There you have it. 1,000 episodes. I'm telling y'all, it's crazy. I can't even believe I've done this so... done this this long. But anyway, <clears throat> let's get the show going because I want to... I want to share my story. Today is today is Wednesday, hump baby, October the 14th, hump day. You have made it October the 14th, October the 4th, October the 4th. It is October the 4th. It is, I don't know why I got like my nose want to be feeling stopped up today. My throat want to be, maybe I'm a little choked up because I'm on 1000 episodes. But anyway, um, today is Wednesday, October the 4th. It's also hump day. So you've made it to the middle. Only a few more episodes before before the weekend. I'm looking forward to the weekend as always. All right, so today is National Cinnamon Roll Day. I know I like cinnamon rolls. My daughter don't like cinnamon rolls. She's like, I don't like cinnamon rolls. Today is National Cinnamon Rolls Day. This is what she does like, and she eat these a lot. National Taco Day. Yeah, she loves tacos. I'm, I'm, I don't. I'll eat tacos sometimes, but not like her. <clears throat> she does make this Asian taco that I absolutely love. Today is National Vodka Day. Somebody said, okay, thank you. Now, listen here. I know y'all like vodka. Vodka on the rocks. But here's the thing. Because it's National Vodka Day, be responsible with your drinking. Be responsible with your drinking. Uh, Coffee with the Cop Day. That's pretty doggone cool. Coffee with the Cop. I think some people will learn some stuff if they do that. International Walk to School Day. Let me tell y'all something. That was When I went to school, that was every day. Here in Georgia, the kids catch the bus. In Jersey, every day was walk to school day, international walk to school day. Improve your office day. I did that yesterday. I was so I was so happy about straightening up my office. I told you my, my daughter shared office with me for a couple of, about a month and a half. And when I tell you my office was a hot mess, it was a mess. What was crazy is she left it a mess. She had like instant ashes on my desk. I'm like, seriously? She just left it. She's, I was like, oh my God. But I cleaned up my office yesterday, and I felt, let me tell you, I felt so good about it. I must have walked in here like three times after I shut shut it down for the day, just to see how clean it, clean it was, because it was a mess. Um, Feast of St. Francis, Assassin's Day. Feast of St. Francis, Assassin's Day. Kindness to Animal Day. That's nice. I, I like animals, some of them. Some of them are scary. Um, 
National Golf Lovers Day. I'm going to take up golfing. I am. I, I've been saying that for years. I'm really going to do it this time, though. National Kale Day. Uh, I like kale. I don't like collard greens. I don't eat cooked cabbage. I will eat cabbage raw, but I will eat kale cooked and raw. I mean, cooked and uh, boiled, like you know how they boil it, like the collard greens, and also baked. So I like kale. I don't like collard greens. I never like collard greens. Uh, National Pumpkin Seed Day. Like pumpkin seeds too. Yes, yes, I like pumpkin seeds. National Truckers Appreciation Day. So if you see a trucker today, show them some love. Um, World Animal Day. Yep, World Animal Day. Amari Lay. Amara Lai. Ne- Negra's birthday. She's pretty. She looks like a doll. Like, she is beautiful, y'all. I'm looking at her picture. She looks like a doll. She's like a black, beautiful African doll. Like, I can see her being a doll. Alicia Silverstone's birthday. Happy birthday, Alicia Silverstone. World Habitat Day. Happy birthday to World Habitat. Ashley Banjo's birthday, happy birthday, Ashley Banjo's. Buster Keaton's birthday, happy birthday, Buster Keaton. Um, Katarina, Katarina Relief's birthday, I can't even pronounce that. Charlton Heston's birthday, happy birthday, Charlton Heston. Dakota Johnson's birthday, happy birthday, Dakota Johnson. Derrick Rose's birthday, happy birthday, Derrick Rose. Uh, Francesco from Magic Box's birthday, happy birthday, Francesca. Fenton Maggie's birthday, happy birthday, Fenton Maggie's. Um, drone supremacy birthday. Happy birthday. Drone supremacy. Um, Lil mama's birthday. Happy birthday. Lil mama's and Joe Vita Moore's birthday. Happy birthday, darling, all the way to heaven. I remember when we lost Joe Vita, she was, she was just a beautiful person. And when I heard that she was passing, when she had passed away, that broke my heart. You know, my mom used to watch it every day too. So now she's up in heaven with my mom. So happy birthday, darling. Um, Alyssa Bonosti's birthday. Happy birthday. Rich Homie Quan's birthday, happy birthday, Rich Homie Quan's. Rupi Carr's birthday, happy birthday, Rupi. Um, Yan Jung, Jung Han's birthday, happy birthday. And Russell Simmons, happy birthday, godfather of hip-hop. Yes, he is a godfather of hip-hop, baby. The music mogul, he has a record label. He helped a lot of people get on. Happy birthday, Russell. And many, many, many more. <laughs> All right, let's keep this train rolling. Let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thompson for today, Wednesday, October the 4th, my 100th episode. I'm going to have to put that on, like, October the 4th is my 100th episode. October 4th. I got to write that down. One, 100, 1,000. I'm just, I'm just making a mess this morning on my 1,000th birthday. All right, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thompson for today's Wednesday, October the 4th. We're going to kick it off like we always do. And that is with Aries. Communications will be your best bet. If they want that want help, that's great. But if they don't take it, um, it, but if they, let me see. If they want help, that's great. But if they try to take credit for your work, you will have to set them straight. Now, it's one thing to help them. But you know, you can help some folks and they want to take credit for everything you've done. So you just might want to think about the person you're trying to help today, Aries. I'm just saying, I know you want to be helpful, but then you're going to help them and they're going to act like they did about it. Because I've, I've worked with people like that. I've worked with people that, and I done did things for them and it helped them so much. But instead of them saying thank you because they wanted to seem like they did it all, it's it's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. But my thing is, I'm a little bit humble. Like, yeah, get that. Because at the end of the day, you and I both know it wasn't you. I'm just saying, but it, listen to Queer Aries. If you need to speak up for yourself, do that. Don't hesitate to voice your ideas and your opinions. Not today. Taurus, be careful if a friend asks for advice. Opportunities to show your worth will enhance your reputation and bring possible advancements. You will find it easy to talk about your feelings today. Don't hesitate to find out what your mate's intentions are. Ooh, you got a loaded horoscope today, Taurus. You got to be careful about giving friends advice. Why? Because do they really want your advice? Or are they just trying to vent? Sometimes that's all it is. They don't want your advice. In the meantime, opportunities to show your worth will enhance your reputation and bring possible advancement. Show them what you got. Show them what you're working with. Show them what you're working with today, Taurus, because that could be the advancement you've been looking for. And don't hesitate to find out your mate's intention. You need to know what's happening. What's the real deal? What's your intentions? Let them know. Put it on the table. <laughs> Gemini. Don't make mountains out of molehills if you want to avoid conflict. You would do your best work on your own. Your lover may feel rejected. All right, here's the thing, Gemini. Don't waste your time making something out of nothing. For real. It's not that serious today. Take a breath and just, you know what? I'm going to let this one pass. 
I know you want to be right. You want to argue the situation. It ain't for you to do today. It's a no for you today. Don't do it. Don't do it. In the meantime, you will do your best work on your own. Work by yourself. That way you ain't got to get into conflict with folks because you want to be right today. Because that's why y'all going to have a conflict. Because you just need to be right. You don't have to do that today. Cancer, you can enjoy entertainment if you join join in and follow the crowd for a change. Socializing or travel will lead to partnerships. Daydreaming will be your downfall. Listen, I'm a daydreamer. I don't know about cancer, but listen, don't do it, cancer. Because I'm a, listen, Pisces are big daydreamers. We are. We're known to be daydreamers. Cancer, daydreaming won't serve you today. So don't do it. In the meantime, go out and have some fun. You can enjoy the entertainment. Follow the crowd. Listen, follow a good crowd. I hear what the stars are saying, but be cognizant of the crowd that you follow. I know you want to have some fun. Don't follow the wrong crowd, though. All right, Cancer? All right, Leo, you may be admired by colleagues and employers for your diplomatic way of handling your work and those you work with. Time spent with family, children, or good friends will be regenerating and positive. Anger might lead to carelessness and minor injuries. All right, here's the thing. They see you. They like how you handle yourself, Leo. Most of the Leo women, I can't say the men because I don't, I haven't seen anything major from the men. But the, most of the Leo women that I know, they are very dependable. Um, they keep their words. Like one of my best friends is Leo. She's like my sister. And for the last forty years, not even forty, yeah, 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 forty years, because we've been friends that long. That says something about people, right? That's because our friendship is unconditional. That's why you have to have f- f- friendships un- like marriage and love is unconditional, unconditional, but she is dependable. I can always count on her to have my back. I can always count on her to support. She has always been that person. So I, it doesn't surprise me that they they're looking at you and they like the fact that you're diplomatic Leo Virgo. Your added discipline will help you complete the impossible at work. You need to control your temper and deal with the situation rationally. You may find that you can be the recipient of valuable information if you're willing to be a good listener. All right, listen. Today, Virgo, because you know Virgo can be a little chatty. Today, I'm going to say you need to be quiet and listen because there's some information coming to you, but you won't hear it because you won't listen. I'm just saying. So you might want to just shut it down and listen. All right? All right. Okay, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after this song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thiessen. Stay tuned.
welcome back, welcome back. One of my favorite songs. Normally, I play that song at the end of the show, but I wanted to play it at the beginning because I hear the calling, and my calling is podcasting. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit after I get finished with these horoscopes. So let me get on with that so I can talk about my calling, podcasting. All right, welcome back to the show. It's your girl Audrey Bell Kearney bringing you the daily horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thoughts. I'm going to kick it off with Libra. You'll be able to communicate well today, and you can make money through through your own creative activities. If you're preoccupied, be careful while operating a vehicle or any kind of machinery. All right, you need to be careful today. All right, if you, listen, you need to be careful. That's what you need to be. If you, especially if you got in a bad mood, yeah. Don't be operating machinery while you in a funk because that could be dangerous. I'm just saying. Scorpio, you can ask for favors and get sound advice from close friends or relatives. Someone you like may be receptive and actively seeking your company. You will have the discipline to make changes you feel are necessary. All right, somebody is seeking your company, Scorpio. Who is that? Who is seeking your... They're receptive and they're they're actively seeking your company. I don't know. They want to get with you today, Jack. I'm just saying. In the meantime, you will have the discipline to make changes you feel are necessary. Discipline is key for a lot of things. I'm talking about a lot of them, like doing this show. It ta- it takes discipline to get to 1,000 episodes, y'all. A lot of discipline. Even in the toughest of times, and I'll talk about that in a few minutes. Sagittarius, your energetic personality will make, make you the center of attention at social gatherings. You may want to take a trip. However, before you do, make sure that your car is serviced properly. If you haven't planned a vacation, then at least try to get away from for the weekend. Get listen, get away for a second. You need a break, Sagittarius. Go somewhere. Just go. Listen, you can go downtown to your local hotel, bed and breakfast. Bed, bed and breakfasts are nice too. Um, go to a bed and breakfast where the breakfast is going to be served. You got a beautiful homely room to be in. You just need a minute. As a matter of fact, take two minutes. All right, you need it. Show yourself some love. Capricorn, you may have difficulties with someone you live with. You can get the attention of important individuals, but it might not be the time to get them to help you or back your ideas. Don't hesitate to voice your opinions when it comes to matters pertaining to your work. All right, you can get their attention, right? But here's here's the thing. Don't pitch them just yet. Build that relationship. Get their attention and then, then build that relationship. Then get ready to pitch them. Don't pitch them today. You just want to get their attention and figure out how to build that relationship. Because what I've learned, and you'll hear a little bit more in a few minutes, that business is built on relationships. And I'm telling you, relationships will help you move quicker. They will They will help you. Good relationships will help you move quicker. They will come to you in, in your time of need. But you got to have good relationships. That's important. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Aquarius, be aware of deception when it comes to your position and be sure not to jump to conclusions. You are best to concentrate on your professional endeavors. Your emotions will be touched off concerning recent encounters with your lover. Okay, I don't know exactly what that means, touched off. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Of course, I don't know. But they're going to be touched off. In the meantime, you are best to to concentrate on your professional endeavors. Focus on your professional goals. What are they? Did you set some? Is it time to go back and look at them? You You want to check that stuff out. We should be doing checkups right now. Professional checkups, business checkups. Do the checkup because you need to know where you are so you'll know where you're going. Oh, I should have said that for the closing arguments. Anyway, do the checkup on yourself. See where you are. Focus on your professional endeavors. All right, last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, you need a change of pace. Is that right? You can make money through your own creative efforts. Thank God. Do not let reactions of others get you going. I won't. All right, so fish, listen. We can, listen, we need a change of pace. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Maybe I need to go celebrate today. I need to go celebrate my 1,000th episode. I need to tell my husband, hey, you should take me to dinner for my 1,000th episode because it's 1,000. I've been talking for like almost a thousand hours. That's a lot of talking, y'all. A lot of talking. In the meantime, we can make money through our own creative efforts. You know, we probably, listen, anybody, you can make money pretty much on anything today. How creative are you? I told my husband so, and I'm sure I shared this story before. So I'm always trying to be creative, right? He has bought me all kinds of stuff. So I have a Cricut. I have a printer that print on cookies, like print on sugar paper. I have a printer that print for license plates. I have a a mug press, a plate press, a t-shirt press. He bought me a pottery wheel. I have molds for resin. I Listen, I want to be crafty. 
I want to be creative. So I said to him, I think I'm going to have some time today. Now, mind you, I've been had the printer for the license plates for about three months. I think I'm going to have some time today to see can I set up the printer to do the license plates. That's hilarious, y'all. That's crazy, too. Because I've been had that printer for a long time, and I have not did one license plate. So I'm going to make some money through my own creative efforts today. I have no idea. I'm making license plates. That's my side hustle to the side hustle. I like I like being an entrepreneur. That's why I'm always sucked into new ideas. But that's my side hustle. That Good Morning Gwinnett is my full-time baby. My full-time baby. All right, so listen, Fish. Make some money through some creative efforts today. Don't be like me. Go ahead on it, if you, especially if you're creative. Here's the thing. You may not be business, though. Yeah, may not be business. All right, those are all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow with more of the horoscopes. Um, brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thoughts. And let me get on with my story about Good Morning Gwinnett. So today, y'all, I celebrate 1,000th episode. This is my 1,000th episode. I get chills every time I think about that because here's my thing. Here's my story. I started podcasting in 2009, right? And Georgette and I hosted a podcast together called um, Business Over Breakfast. And we would interview all these authors on our podcast at that time, we were podcasting on Block Talk Radio because that's the only podcast platform we knew about. And I knew about Block Talk Radio because one of my friends in Jersey, her name is Lisa Dugan, had told me that Block Talk was started by her friend. And, and she said, you might want to check that out. And I said, okay. Because at the time, I had just got finished being on radio. So I had a show on radio, red, traditional radio, called um, Women in Business Today. And, I, I, and then I had a second show on another radio station called um the ax audrey show and both shows were about business so i've been in media for a long time 23 years i've been in uh, media and i and i and when when i got out of radio podcasting was just kind of kicking off and i said you know what i want to know about this thing called podcasting which my friend had told me about she said my friend just started this network called block talk and i was like let me check it out so i checked it out and Georgia and I did Blog Talk Radio, and we did about 215 episodes interviewing people. And I like Blog Talk. I like the platform a lot. But over the years, it started to decline. No money was being made, and I had to make some money. So we stopped doing that show. And I was like, okay, I need to go make some money. I got a, you know, I got a kid to take care of. This is not working. There's no money in this thing. Because I did not understand what was going to happen. I did not understand like the powerful platform that podcasting would become. So I quit and I started to do something else. And then I got back into podcasting in 2015. So when I came to Georgia, I moved to Georgia in 2013. And in 2015, I started to get back into podcasting because I really like podcasting. So I started a show called The Talk Business with Audrey Show. And I started doing that show and I was interviewing people again, but this time I was doing it in person, but it became draining because it was just so hard because, you know, I had to get the guests. They had to come to the location. They had to sit down. It was crazy. And so I did, I think I did about 20, 30 episodes of that show before I was like, ah, I don't want to do this. Can't make any money. It's trying to, it's hard trying to get the guests. You know, it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not really enjoying it because it's just too much headache for me. Right. <laughs> too much headache. So then I considered going into politics. Because I still didn't know anybody in Gwinnett County. I had moved here in 2013, had not really been outside to meet people because I was building a TV network called HerTube. And so because I spent two years trying to figure out the technology and finally getting the thing up and running, I didn't get out to meet anybody. So by the time I came up for air, I didn't know anybody. And now it's like I'm here from two, th- I'm here two years and don't know a soul. So I'm thinking about, you know, podcasting, talk business with Audrey. I started to meet people. As a matter of fact, with talk business with Audrey, I met Bill Cosby's. I met two of Bill Cosby's net, uh, nephews, and they were on my show, um, Braxton Cosby and Leon Cosby. As a matter of fact, I went to Leon Cosby's wedding a couple years ago. Um, very nice people, extremely nice people. So you can build relationships. You can open doors, right? And you can build relationships. So, um, and, I, and I think those are good relationships because I think if I call them, um, and ask them for help for anything. I think they would help me. I don't, you know, I got great relationships. I forgot about them too. And they're really nice people. But anyway, so that was 2015. So then I said, you know what? I need to make money. So I started to do other things. So from 2015 to 2018, I did consulting. I did websites. I did a little bit, all kinds of things, all kinds of stuff. Then in 2018, I said, you know what? I really like podcasting. And I was going to go into politics, but I realized that politics was not my thing after spending about six or seven months with a bunch of politicians. Like, yeah, I, because I couldn't stand all the fighting. Like, we would 
we you politicking to 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 serve the community, but you got to fight against the other man, and they were fighting against themselves. And I was like, yeah, this is this is definitely not because I didn't see any camaraderie there. All I saw was infighting and inviting, and I was like, yeah, I can't do this. This is not for me, and I and I just couldn't do it. So when when you got to have a fight within your party, and we spend three hours on stuff like where we're gonna put a comma, I was like, you got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. And I decided right then, nah, not for me. But I still wanted to be a part of my community. And so the the thing that came back to mind was podcasting. I was like, you know what? I'm I was looking I was in my mom's room one morning and so she watched Good Morning America every day. That was what she did. She loved Good Morning America. She would watch it every day. And I was sitting there and I think it was at the time it was I know it was Robin. I can't remember who else was on the show with her, but she would watch it every morning. Good Morning America, Robin Roberts and her cast of people. And I was—I remember sitting in her room one day and just looking at that thinking, man, that would be great if I had a show called Good Morning Gwinnett. And I thought about that for a second. And I was like, that really would be great if I had a show called Good Morning Gwinnett. And I went back and I started to think about it a little bit more. And I was like, what if I made it a podcast, right? And I said, okay, I'm going to make it a podcast. So again, I was like, I'm going to interview people, which I did. So when I first started Good Morning Gwinnett, I started out interviewing people. Interviewing people just like I did with Talk Business with Audrey. And um, I was like, okay, this is the show. I'm going to interview people and I'm going to get to know people in my community. So there were a lot. It was it was election season. And I started to interview people who were running for offices. So the first person that I interviewed was a woman named Brooke God, what was her name? She was a nutcase too, y'all. Uh, her first name was Brooke. I can't remember her last name. But she was running for commissioner for Gwinnett County. And so um, she was running for commissioner. And then she introduced me to this guy named Derek Wilson, who was running for commissioner as well. And I met Derek, and Derek and I became friends. So he did run for commissioner two times, and he, run for, he ran for um insurance uh commissioner too he worked for the, the, count, the county commissioner insurance commissioner um and i both times i worked on his campaign because of my show so he brought me on to work on his campaign because he was a guest on my show and we became friends okay then i met i interviewed a man reached out to me on facebook and said my wife is running for district attorney would love to get get her on your show. Well, he came on, she came on the show and she won. So her name is Patsy Austin Gatson. She was the first black female uh, DA for the County of Gwinnett. So she was on my show and I'll tell you a little bit about something that happened with her later. She was on my show and then she won the election. Then I interviewed a young lady. Her name was Nicole Love Hendrickson and she was running for the county commissioner seat, like the, the, the chairwoman seat for the County of Gwinnett. And she was on my show and she won. And now, so now, you know, let me just say this. All three of those prominent people, including Chantel Wilson, who's the economic development manager at Gwinnett County, they're all in my phone as friends, like in my personal phone. Like I have their personal phone numbers. And I said that not to not to brag, but to say that my show, Good Morning Gwinnett, has allowed me to build wonderful relationships with people and when they can help. Now remember, these are really busy people. Derek is the president of the Greater East Side Chamber of Commerce. Patsy is our DA. Nicole Love Hendrickson is our chairwoman. Chantel Wilson is the manager of economic development for the county. So these are all high powered, busy people. But when I need something, I think I can call them and if they can accommodate me, they will because they have. And so I said all that to say, podcasting is a great platform to build relationships. I'm going to tell y'all a quick story. So in 2021, you know, the pandemic was rampant. The COVID pandemic was rampant. And, you know, I thought that we would make it to the vaccine stage, even though I was not going to take the vaccine. I thought that we would go, because up until the end of the year, we made it through all this. And then listen, I was in rooms with thousands of people at PodFest, right? At the beginning of 2020. I was in rooms with thousands of people. Yes, I was at the beginning of 2020. And I'm talking about thousands. People was coughing. They had come from London. I was freaking out, but we didn't know how bad COVID was going to be. So I managed to go from that, come home. And from 2020, we made it all the way through 2020. We made it all the way through 2021 to the very end at Christmas time. My whole family got COVID because someone exposed my granddaughter. And because of that, my mom, I lost my mom on January 5th. Now, why is that important? 
because I podcast on the day she passed away. And it was a very, very hard day for me. But because I was dedicated, I had made up my mind, no matter what I do, I'm not going to stop Good Morning Gwinnett. And so 5.15 on January 5th, I got the call that my mom was gone. The hardest call, the hardest situation, even right now, I'm just, I'm, I don't want to choke up because I want to get through the story. But even through my toughest day, the toughest day of my life, I got up and I did my show. And it was a hard show to do because my daughter had told me that my mom listened to my show every day. I didn't know she listened to it every day, but they said she listened to it every day. Um, and, but I know that after every show, I would go to her room because she lived with me and I would say, what you having for breakfast? And I would make her breakfast because she had been sick for some time. And, um, we talked and then I went back to work and then I would go up at lunchtime. What you want for lunch? I did this every day y'all for 10 years because she had been, she she had been, her health had been declining for 10 years. And then her, her system was so weak that when, when the baby exposed us all, she couldn't fight it because she had COPD she had had cancer before, so she had a very weak immune system, and she was still taking um, chemo pills, and um, so her immune system was very weak. She couldn't fight COVID like we all did. Thank God for that, because we all got it, except one person. My uncle, who lived with me, never got it. Everybody else in the house had it, except him, but here's the thing. He was very cautious. Like, he slept with tissue, tissue, like toilet tissue in his nose and the mask on his face. He slept that way in his bed, in his bedroom by himself. He walked, he walked around the house with gloves on. He walked around the house with the tissue and, and the mask on. He never got it. There's a family picture that we took, and we were all in that picture. And so since that time, I've lost my other uncle, my Uncle Blunt. Lost him this year. He had um, he had diabetes real bad. And diabetes is nothing to play with. And he lost his life because of it. But he was in that picture, and he got COVID. We all got COVID except for my Uncle David. He didn't get it. But anyway, I did my show that day, and that was the hardest day of my life. But I knew that I had to keep going. And so fast forward to my relationship with DA Patsy Austin Gatson. I reached out to her because I couldn't, after after pulling myself out the bed, because I still did my show every day. But when I tell y'all I couldn't do anything else but the show, because I was, in, I was, I was grieving so bad till I barely wanted to take a bath. That's how bad I was in pain, right? But I did. I got up, I took a bath, and I did my show. But that was all I did. That was all I could muster up the energy to do was get up, shower, do the show. And then the rest of the day was just, I was just in a daze. Like for, for, for about, about, about two months, I was just in a daze. And then finally, I said, okay, Audrey, you got to pull yourself together. But by that time, my business had completely crashed. It was it was crashed and it was burning down to the ground. And I reached out to, to D.A. Gatson and I said, um, hey, I said, you know, I, um, I'm in a funk. I lost my mom. I just need to do something to make some money. I need to do something that has some meaning. And she created a position in her office for me at the DA's office. And I went to work with her in July of 2021. And um, I went there and I worked with her. And and I met this woman named Uzma. And Uzma and I would talk pretty much every day for very long periods of time. That's when I realized, Audrey, you're not cut out to work for anybody because you're going to get fired, which I didn't get fired. I resigned because I realized I, I still sucked at that part. But I'm so grateful for the opportunity. So I worked at DA's office for about about four or five months, I think. And then I went to her and I said, listen, I want to thank you for this opportunity, but I'm just not cut out for this. I, I wasn't. I wasn't cut. So, But I felt better. So I said all that to say my podcast was a relationship builder. And because of my relationships, it was a healing factor. And because of that, I would never stop. Right? I would never stop. Now, I want to talk about, I'm going to go to a song. I'm going to break, because this is a long story. I'm going to go to a song. Then I'm going to come back and talk about why podcasting is important to business owners. I just told you about relationships and how it helped me in some of the toughest times of my life. But now I'm going to come back. I'm going to talk about why this is an, is an important platform for your business. So I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to share that story with you. I ran away from heartbreak Got nothing in return for my pain I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid Was 
wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I guess I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense So I... Welcome back, one of my favorite songs. Welcome back, welcome back. Listen, guys, I'm talking about um, why and how I started Good Morning Gwinnett. I'm, I'm on my 1,000th episode, and I'm excited about that. And I want to just talk about the, the business side to this. So, you know, when I when I started this, I knew that it would be a an opportunity to make money, um, but I knew I had to be consistent. So I made a I made a vow to myself that I would be definitely consistent. I wouldn't stop no matter what. So I just told you the story about my mom and COVID and all that stuff and losing her and how I still podcast it. And I know for some people, you know, podcasting is just this thing because they don't see, they don't see a return immediately on their investment. Trust me, I'm looking at the same way like, man, it's been almost five years. I need to see this. I need to see the millions to roll, start rolling in right now. But I'm at that point right now where I can start seeing great money rolling in for my podcast. But it took me this amount of time to get to the point where... One, I believed in the, I believed in the industry, right? Because I was doing it, I was doing it, and I was seeing people making money, but I couldn't figure out how to see it for myself until I started to see that um, everything was just like I'm going to keep doing it no matter what. And now it's the weirdest thing because I get so many calls from different people, and I've been getting a lot here recently. But I, I think it's because I had a mind shift about the business itself. Like I had to pick one out of my business that I want to focus on. And I picked Good Morning Gwinnett. And as soon as I started to do that, I saw things start to take off in a, in a very good way. And, and it, it doesn't surprise me that, you know, I'm getting calls from people. I got a call just recently from somebody and I have never, I had never heard of her. And matter of fact, I got an invitation to come to her event, a free invitation. And I was like, how does this lady find me? So she said, call me. I want to, I want to talk to you on the phone. And then I want to talk to you in person. And I said, okay. So I called her and she had found me because of Good Morning Gwinnett. But it real, I really, she found me from somewhere that I hadn't even remembered that, that I was. Right. And so she was like, I heard good things about you. And she said, she had a lot of good, she knew, she knew me, which was weird. Cause I had never heard of her. And she, she knows a bunch of 
When I'm talking about super heavy hitters, like she gave me the phone number to one of them. She's like, call him. And I was like, okay, I'm going to call him. He's a heavy, 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 heavy hitter here in Gwinnett County. And, um, and he, and she gave me his personal phone number to call him yesterday. This, this call happened yesterday, but I said all that to say it's a powerful platform. And if you're building any kind of business, I would, I would, I would suggest, I would like to suggest that you start a podcast. If you're building a brand, if you're not building a brand, then don't bother with it. Right. Because it's a, it's called branding and you want people to get to know your brand. So you leverage podcasting as a way to build a brand. A lot of people won't do that. They don't see why it's important. You know, I have this podcast. Now I have video to the podcast. I'm going to be adding other things to this show. Why? Because I want to build a global brand. Why do I want to build a global brand? Because I'm building a media empire. And for me, I want, I want, listen, I want people to hear about Gwinnett all around the world, which they do. But I also want them to say, Audrey, we want to invest in Good Morning Gwinnett by advertising on your show. So for me, that's global. Now, I already know that the brand is global because one day I was in a meeting and I got an email that Good Morning Gwinnett was number three in news in Australia. And I was like, what? So I already know that it's a global show. I already know that it's making waves in, in other countries around the world. I have never been to Australia a day in my life. But my show was number three in news in Australia. I was like, what? So it is a great way to build a brand. Once Now I'm to the point where I feel like, okay, I have a strong brand. It's time for me to leverage that brand and start to go and say, hey, do you, would you like to be a part of my show? I have a lot of great things that's coming down the pike for this, 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 this show and my news site. Because now not only is Good Morning Gwinnett a podcast, it is a news, sh- news, news site a video channel with videos um, just because we do the Friday morning mingle and I won't stop doing that. Good morning, Gwinnett Friday morning mingle. I won't stop doing that. It's a great, it's a great platform and um, I'm just having a lot of, a lot of good times with it. So that's my story y'all. And I want to thank you for listening to my story. And I want to tell you that podcasting is a wonderful platform. So I'm going to go to my last song and then I'm going to come back and give you my words of inspiration for today. So stay tuned.
Welcome back, welcome back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. And my word of inspiration is, let's go for gold. Here's the thing. I've been doing this show for 1,000 episodes. And I don't plan on stopping. You know why? Because I'm going for gold. I'm going for a building media empire. I want to see myself on my wall with Oprah and Kathy Hughes and Sheila Crump Johnson, B. Smith, Michelle Obama, Madam C.J. Walker, Queen Latifah, Rachel Ray, Mary, Mary Kate, and Tyra Banks. I want to see myself on that wall. Ted Turner, I want to see myself on that wall because I'm inspired by these people. I'm inspired by the work that they put in. I know it wasn't easy. You know why I know it wasn't easy? Because what I'm doing is not easy. To get up every day, four days a week, five days a week and do a show is not easy. But I understand the power of this platform. I understand the relationships that I've built. I understand the, the brand that I'm building. I know that it's, it's a global brand already. I know that I have the opportunity to make millions. When somebody can sign a $100 million deal and they do exactly what I do, I, there's a, for me, I see a pathway. And I'm on that pathway. I know that this could be a legacy for my family. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the future of Good Morning Gwinnett. I'm excited about the future of the people that I'm going to meet. I'm excited about the opportunities. And I want you to get excited about something. I want you to lean into something. I want you to go for the gold. Pick something and go for it. That's all I got for y'all today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 48 minutes with me. And I love and appreciate you for that. Listen, go to good morning, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com. Check out all the articles there. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And listen, show me some love today. It's 1,000 episodes, y'all. Say congratulations or something. I appreciate that. Thank you again for listening. You could have been anywhere, but you spent it with me. I love and appreciate you. You guys stay safe out there. And until next time, my friends, until next time, make it Make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.